All right, hello, hello, everybody. It's your girl Mocaso and my favorite adopter avatar, Tweety. And you may have seen my past video that I made about how to make a Ready Player Me avatar, plus the bonus on how to connect it with Seychelles, and there was no audio. So I'm here to do it again and show you guys how easy it is to get this done. So let's dive right in. So first, um, you can always go to Google and go to Ready Player Me. Now once you're here, you'll see that the um, website for that is readyplayer.me. I'll also drop a link here in the description where you can access that easily, but it is readyplayer.me. Now once um, you set, see that, you'll go ahead and enter the hub, and you may have to fill out some information about if you're a developer or a creator. It all doesn't really matter, just enter in your information, and then you'll be here, and you can actually start creating your avatars. So I'm gonna move Tweety over a little bit. This is one that my four-year-old made. Um, so I'm gonna go to my avatars. Now one of the cool things about Ready Player Me is that you can check out the home screen where it shows you all of the avatars you've made. One of the other really cool things about Ready Player Me is how connected it is with a lot of different metaverses already, giving it that special touch of interoperability where you can create this and actually connect with places like Spatial, Somnium, Neo, so many different um, spaces. So. And here again, you can discover apps, like I just mentioned, that you can actually connect it to, plenty of them. Um, you can also go down to wardrobe. Now here, if you have actual like digital um, fashion NFTs, you can connect your MetaMask or a redemption code and access those NFTs here and add those to your avatar as well. But let's dive into how to actually make this avatar and get started. So I'm gonna move Tweety back over here after I'm in my app, my avatar section and simply press this plus sign. And now I'm sure we have all made avatars plenty in our lives when it comes down to picking out exactly what you wanna do. And it's really that simple. So you could choose masculine, feminine, or don't specify. This time I guess I'll go with don't specify. You can upload a photo if you want and they'll try to make it look as close to you as possible to give you a place to start. If not, you can also just, hey, continue without a photo, which I like to do as well, and then pick an avatar that you would like to use. Now, I've been looking for this hairstyle, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this avatar and then literally customize it as you like. Now, I'm gonna, not going to harp on all these small details about, you know, paying so much attention to what I'm going to create for this avatar since I already have so many, but just to show you guys um, the bottom. So, you know, start with your skin complexion, choose whichever, you know, color you'd like to be, and then you hit this shape. You'll be able to set your chin size, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Maybe I'll just make my lips a little bigger there, whatever. And then clothes, one of my favorite parts. You can choose an outfit. Oh man, I hit the wrong thing. Let me get back in there real quick. Uh, does it show the one I just started? No. Okay, sorry guys. I hit the wrong thing on my keypad. Again, don't specify. Continue without photo. I'm going to start with her and get loaded back in there. And you see, things happen. One of the things when you're learning and building, don't be afraid when things happen. Just literally try again. And I promise you that second time you try, you'll be just a little bit better than that first. So again, you know, choose your complexion, hit those shapes, choose whatever chin size you like, whatever eyes you like, your nose and a mouth. I'm going crazy with it. Um, your clothes. I'm going to choose a simple outfit, but again, there are so many here that you can choose from. Um, and then hair. Again, choose whichever one you like. The options, I would say, are not that that different. Um, but you know, you can just scroll on over. Like I said, I've been looking for this hairstyle myself. Um, you can get a beard. If you got some facial hair, scroll over and get whatever facial hair you'd like. Um, you want to get zesty with the eye colors, you can definitely do that. Make it a little crazy looking, whatever you, whatever floats your boat. Uh, eyebrows, you know. And remember, you're going into the metaverse. It does not have to look like you. It can look like whatever you would like. Um, you know, you can put some glasses on them. And it's cool. You can add some makeup as well. You know, like I said, get creative with it. Add whatever you like. I see they even got some more options here. 
Okay, little face tattoos that I haven't seen. All right, I, I'm learning something scrolling over a little bit more with these face tattoos. So I'm going to go with that one here. And um, you can add a mask if you like, as you've seen some of mine that I had made that were like general avatars. I had the face covering for a metaverse event that I had for people that were just using random avatars. And then you can also add a hat if you like, um, which does also take away that hair, I will say. So if you pick a hat, you will no longer have hair. It's not like the hat goes under that hair or over that hair. So say this is something that I'm like, okay, that's cool with me. You just press into the hub. And now once she's into the hub and you're okay with that, I'll show you a quick tidbit on how to actually connect it to a metaverse like Spatial. Because especially if you're watching this and you are planning on joining the um, Spatial space here of the Raw Network, I'm definitely excited to have you apart and want to see your avatars. So you see my avatar there. I'm going to come here on Spatial. This is one of our actual spaces there in Spatial. Make sure you check it out, the Raw Showcase. And as you can see here, we do have weekly events here in this metaverse every single Friday. So you can always hop in here, see what we have going on, and just stay connected. But anyhow, we want to look at our avatar. So we're going to click this little avatar here that says Change Your Look. Now from here, I can customize my own avatar, which this is another one that I made for my husband or I can create Ready Player Me avatar. So I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna load up here. And now I already have one. And if you didn't already have that, you could just make it from there like I had just showed you guys. But I wanted to continue to create avatars, which is why I made it separate. So I'm gonna sign into my Ready Player Me here. Uh, of course, I've got it already ready. Do, 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 do. And there are my avatars. So these are the ones that I've already uploaded before. See, it says spatial avatars. Now I can also put all avatars. And this will show me all of the avatars that I have created. So here's the one that I just made. I'm going to go ahead and select her. And then it's loading my avatar. And drum roll, please. Oh, wait. Sorry, they want to confirm that you've got everything you like. You can change the outfit, the hair, anything like that. Just like I showed you, if you hit edit avatar, that's how you can also switch up some of their outfits after you've even loaded them into spatial. So don't think it's a end all be all once they are in there. And bow, there we are. There is our cute little avatar. And see what I was saying here? You can hit edit. And this is going to let us edit that avatar where we can open it up here, select a different avatar that we want to use, and customize that one if we like from there. So that is it. Very great, easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Like I said, stay connected and stay tuned because the more we learn, the more we're going to share. And uh, me and Tweety will be here to show you guys along the way. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.